So today I'm just going to be teaching you how to use whiteboard and I already created a class but normally it says like um it says new class or join the class and I just pressed new class and labeled it art you can label it with a different name though and I'm just going to press resume class because I already started one I forgot to record that. So I'm going to press toggle my whiteboard and here you can add little pages like add more pages or get rid of those pages and you uh, only at one time if you actually had like students or people on it like your friends um you can only have one showing at a time so if i was a teacher maybe the first day in class i taught reading and the second day i taught math um i would be I, the students who use my whiteboard or the people would only be able to see one of the one at a time so I would show reading the first day and not the next day, which is nice because then you can just only show one like class, but have more than one already. So I have reading with a little book and then math with two plus two equals what? Obviously four though. Um, so down there you can, if it's blue, then it means your students can see it. If it has a little white and a cross across the eye, your students or friends or people or family, whatever, whoever you're sharing this with can't see it. So there's the eraser tool where you can clear everything or not. You can clear whatever you need to. Um, so this is the pointer where you can point and you don't mess up the thing, but you also can like that blue box is you can copy things that are under that blue box and in that blue box and here would normally, well, there's the color of the pen. It doesn't change the color of your um, little mouse or anything. But it does change the color of your pen when you actually start drawing. And I'm on a Mac, so that's why I have a mouse. But if you're on like an iPad or a phone, it's obviously going to look different because you're using a touch screen. So there you can do all the different colors. And here you can change the line width and the line style but the line width you can make it either really big really small medium however big you need to make it and um that's how big it can get practically and that's um not exactly how small it can get but it can get pretty small that is just a fill this is a dotted line and that is a um like a i don't even wait what's what's it called again I can't even remember what it was called. Um, anywho, there is the line thing. So if you want a straight line, you can make a straight line. And you don't have to like take all day drawing it. So if you want the line to end, you can double click, but I don't want it to end. I just want to keep going. Oh my gosh, wait. I never actually knew it did that. I guess so when you make a line, you can actually make a fill. So I'll make the same triangular half square shape and it fills in with the color that your pen is at. Then over here, you actually can make squares or rectangles and circles or ovals or whatever shape you need. And then there's the text where you can type something in. And I'm just gonna type hello. Okay, that's not, I'm sorry, it's not how you spell it. Hello. Um, and over here you can insert an image and I'm just gonna pick um, my little otter picture I didn't draw this but I really like it it's really cute because I like otters <laughs> so I'm just gonna make that smaller and move it over a little bit next is um, I, oh so sometimes you need to purchase a license to get something, which is like a monthly fee, um, but you can also use whiteboard for free. You just don't get as many things like that PDF. You can't insert a PDF, um, which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. Then you can. Then there's the undo button and the redo button. There's a zoom in. There's a zoom out, and in between there's a fit, and that's when you can. And that thing is when you can just totally move the thing around. But um, I don't like it being like in a weird shape, so I'm just gonna press fit and it straightens it out. Then you have um, the little trash can, which is deleting the thing you're over. 
and say like I put the that's not a good example. I put um this little circle under that, but I want it over the otter. So you can press those boxes to switch which one is front, which one is in back. And then over here is a flatten image, where once you flatten it, you can't delete anything on it. You can clear it, but you can't delete one thing, which is good if you have something that you don't want to accidentally delete really quickly or whatever. Um, and then there's a grid. You can add grids, which totally just deleted my whole drawing, which is kind of annoying, but it's there. And then you have a bigger grid. Um, no, I mean, sorry, not bigger, smaller grid. Um, no, bigger grid. <laughs> I'm so bad at this, sorry. Um, and then you have music notes, so if you are a band teacher, you can put this out. And, um, okay, that's way too big, <laughs> sorry. Um, you can put this up and go like this in notes. Like A, no, sorry. Yeah, A, C, E, um, what's that? E, G. And say you want to make those little lines but okay that one was actually really straight but these other ones aren't that straight and you're like oh dang it they're not straight and they need to be straight which is great because whiteboard has a line tool hallelujah <laughs> um so you can just go to the line tool and use the line tool to make a straight line and double click when you want to end the line or else it's going to be like that weird another line that it's gonna try to make. Yeah, that line. That's why you wanna double click. And you can do that for all those notes. If you want your band to play like a specific song, you can just do that. And oh my gosh, you can actually insert emojis. I did not know this until now that you can insert emojis. That's actually really cool. Oh, their animals are so cute. I actually really like the way they style their animals. They're not at all like apple emojis. They're really cute. Aww. Um, there's no otter here, so I have to go with a goat because I really like, I mean, sorry, not a goat, a, a cow, because I really like cow. I thought that, I was like, confused, because I was looking at the goat, clicking the cow. I was like, oh, cow. <laughs> um, and you can also enter math problems. So 10 times A equals 20 and 10 then you can write a equals 2 <laughs> um a equals 2 and insert that and on a computer if you want to delete that you just press this little delete button um and if you want to keep it of course you can keep it but i'm just gonna delete it um sorry about that <laughs> And now I'm just gonna, you know, do a drawing. So let's do the drawing now. <laughs> pros and cons of the Kahoot whiteboard. So number one, I'm gonna go with the pros. <laughs> it was really fun. It was actually pretty helpful. There were a lot of nice tools that were easy to use and um, you didn't need to like sign in and sign with like your Google account or anything. You just press like new whiteboard. And I know it's meant for teachers, but it was really nice to just do it like for fun. <laughs> uh, okay. Those were just the pros, and I'm going through this quickly. The cons. It's not meant for art, and I can tell that because it doesn't have a fail tool. And even deleting, like, if you press the erase and press erase background cube foreground, it doesn't really erase that much of the 
background. When I was drawing, I actually had to go in and erase the gray lines that were left from my sketch of the girl I drew, which was annoying, and I know that was just a little picky of me to say that, but it was just extra work that I did not want to do, but it's okay. Um, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you could subscribe, that would be awesome. Have a good day!